Governor Polis' statement today on the invasion of Ukraine called on Congress to double down on clean energy so that fuel is not as tied to geopolitical conflicts. He also called on the suspension of the 18 cent per gallon federal gas tax, which you would think would just increase fuel consumption. Not certain what all that has to do with Russia and Ukraine, but Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg was here today, so politics guy Marshall Zellinger asked him about it. Would you encourage Congress to do one way or the other, keep the gas tax, get rid of it for a while? Well, again, as an administration, we're, we're looking at uh, all options. That's included actions related to the Strategic Petroleum Reserve, actions related to global uh, oil production and what our diplomacy can do there, knowing that the, the overall uh, price of oil fluctuating a, a lot is set by, by global markets. We're going to look at everything. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg is in Colorado to promote improvements as a result of the president's infrastructure plan passed by Congress. His visit this afternoon was at the base of I-70 in Floyd Hill, which is about to undergo a five-year reconstruction. My hope is that the, the kinds of congestion we've seen in recent months and years here uh, are not, not in the future uh, for this part of I-70. Uh, now, uh, there's a relationship between supply and demand, and as the uh, director of CDOT has said, you can't always build your way out of congestion. Uh, but if we have the right kind of roadways and the right kind of alternatives, then we're going to have less congestion and more convenient trip times. This stretch of I-70 is also where truck driver Rohel Aguilera Medeiros drove in 2019, making a series of bad decisions before losing his brakes and crashing into stop traffic in the metro area, killing four. Nine wants to know investigator Chris Vanderveen discovered since 1980, trucking companies only need $750,000 in insurance coverage, meaning that's the amount that would cover any incident. Most families impacted by the I-70 crash receive nothing. I asked the secretary if he would support increasing the minimum insurance requirement. I think we do need to take a hard look at this. Uh, we need to look at anything that could affect decisions uh, that bear on safety. Again, uh, not only does there have to be appropriate accountability after something happens, but every measure that we can take uh, in terms of both physical design and policy uh, to make sure that these things don't happen in the first place. We also talked about electric vehicles. The infrastructure plan comes with billions for more EV charging stations. Buttigieg said that that's necessary to give people confidence to buy electric vehicles so they're not worried about running out of a charge along the way. I like to always point out Polis's first executive order in 2019 was to get 940,000 EVs on the road by 2030. We were at 44,000 in January 2021 and Kyle last month, 49,000. Only 900,000 to go. Thank you, Marshall.